How y'all doing today, baby? It's Thursday. We made it through another day. It's a little overcast here. A little, a little shadow falling on the ground. No rain, just a little, a little weather that comes through, and it's not as bright as it normally is. I'm not concerned about that. I am a little concerned about the forecast for the United States, baby. Not, I'm not talking about weather as in rain or clouds. I'm talking about whether or not our democracy is going to survive what's coming. And believe me, baby, there's things coming. Right now, baby, I'm, I'm, I'm in the track eight or chapter eight of Bob Woodward's book, The Trump Tapes. Holy shit, are you shitting me? It's the hardest book I've ever had to try to listen to. This man, is it, it's almost impossible to keep him on, on track on any question because he goes off on a tangent 10 ways till Sunday, most of it about how great he is. And you're having to listen to all that, tra that bullshit. But... It, 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 it opens my eyes more and more to who he is and how he plays his game, baby. And here's the way the game is going to be played. We got midterms, baby, coming up in less than two weeks, baby. There are 30-some-odd Republican election deniers running across this country. Terry Lake being the most popular one, I guess, or the one recognizable out there in Arizona running for governor, and she's only going to accept it if she wins. Well, here's the deal, baby. I don't think all 30-some out of them people are going to win all the elections. I think a couple of them Republicans might lose. And what's going to happen if they do? They're going to start screaming the same thing. Baby, it's rigged. Oh, you can't trust the election. That's cheating going on. Everything is going to come out, and there's going to be a bunch of them. I don't know how many, 10, 12, 13, 15, 30 that are going to lose this race, let's hope. And they're all going to be screaming the, guess, the same thing. And guess what, baby? That's Donnie's song. That's the tune Donnie listens to. That's the tune Donnie sings at every damn rally he goes to. He just came down here to Robstown preaching about how it was rigged and cheated out of everything. Just stirred up the crowd with all this bullshit. Well, guess what? We're going to have two years, baby. He has not declared his presidency, but on this morning's talk show, he's already talking to who's going to be his campaign advisor, they're saying. He's getting ready to make a declaration. He's just waiting, baby. For those voices, maybe right before, maybe right after the election, he's going to declare his candidacy for 2024, and he is going to gather those voices that are going to be screaming about how they were cheated out of their election, and he's going to gather those people up into a nice little ball of freaking wax and throw it on this country, baby. It's all going to be a rehash of what happened right after 2020. Is he going to try to get elected? I don't know. I don't know if that's his game or if he's just cranking them up, baby. If we don't win, we take it. And that was his message last time. So what do you think? Is he going to change his message next time? I don't think so. It's either they win or everything is, is, is a fraud, everything's cheated because God knows they are the only ones that could get elected in this country. They're the only true patriots. Bullshit. You know who the Patriots are, baby? It's those that are lining up at the ballot box today, yesterday, the day before, all across this country. Record numbers of people going to that ballot box. We have to make our numbers known, baby, because we know he is an unethical dirtbag. We know it, but his supporters really don't care. So we have to, and our numbers have to be a lot bigger, baby. So get your ass out there and vote. Get your friends to vote. Hell, Mention it to the cashier at the store if you voted yet, you know. It's important. It's the most important election of our lifetime. But the fight that's going to come after this is going to be nasty and ugly, and it's going to test the very fabric of this nation, baby. We have to hold on to it, or it will tear. Y'all take care. We'll be live tonight on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, be on Discord, live, come by and join the conversation. We'd love to have you. Keep this wave going, baby. It has to build every damn day. Be proud of being a blue dot, baby. There's a lot of patriotism in being a blue dot, baby. We're more concerned about our country than who wants to be king. We don't play that game. Anyway, y'all take care of yourself. We'll see you tonight.